we uncovered the stairs and then i thought there might be an extra step which turned out to be an extra six foot all right guys i got rained on pretty good at this on this one but i think it came out awesome we did have some wash out so i'll come in and rinse it off again tomorrow because i got more to do on the property now this has got to be one of the worst ones i've ever done and i'm excited to do it it's super dark super nasty a lot of algae's growing on it it's got mosses sticks twigs leaves we'll use the power washer and blow that into the yard i don't have my leaf set up with me otherwise i would clean them up but that's not an option i look at this stuff like a lustful man looks at a big old booty yeah buddy i'm gonna come in and get this cleaned up we're gonna make it look like it's brand new or as new as it can be there might be some pieces missing who knows we're gonna find out we're gonna see what it actually looks like now for your viewing pleasure lawn care juggernaut is offering quickies welcome to the shorts channel it's the channel with the short version for the people that have low attention spans they like a quick version or maybe you just want to go in the closet and watch it fast because you got things to do today welcome back to the channel I'm Kevin Hansen, the unofficial mayor of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and you're watching the Lawn Care Juggernaut Shorts, the best shorts channel here on YouTube or any other platform for your viewing pleasure. So in today's video, we're cleaning this insanely dirty sidewalk, stairs, and ended up being a driveway with two driveways, which you're not going to see in this video, but we are going to tackle the first part of this project in today's video. <laughs> and like I said, it was absolutely insane. So I'm starting with these stairs up here. I'm blasting off all the algaes and everything that was slick because obviously it's slick. And when they walk out of their house, it's a slipping hazard. With all that said, there's a bunch of paint on here. I'm busting the paint loose. No, I didn't go back and paint them, but I did get it back to where it was pretty clean. Turns out this place was a rental property. How's the owner feel about that? I don't know, but I assume they're okay with me cleaning it because that would help them... Um, <laughs> it would help them to rent it at a higher price down the road or I assume it would I don't know ultimately this is in Arkansas and the algae just builds up so fast and um, it's probably going to grow back now I have also been told in my other videos when I call the green substance would you say substance substance is more like a liquid anyways the green growth that is on the, the bricks and the sidewalk and i call it algae and they're like that's not algae algae only grows in water um i hate to tell you but that is algae and mildew and dirt and grime and stuff that's built up sometimes it's slick sometimes it's not one thing is for sure when i hit it with the power washer it's satisfying we got that holy water action just washing it clean like the filthy people's souls in this world. Let's look at it go. Little by little. It's really nice how quick it goes here, but I'm going to tell you in person, it was not this quick. Moving forward, progressing forward, I'm using the turbo tip on the power washer. That thing is amazing. I had a lot of people, a lot of my viewers tell me I should use it. And I was like, I'm not going to buy one of those things. It's gimmicky. It's stupid. But it turns out, it's actually really, really nice. And as far as a power washer, I'm using a four gallon a minute machine with 4,000 PSI. I remain to use a four gallon a minute machine with 4,000 PSI, only now I have a heated unit. It's an Alcoda. Um, it's an awesome power washer. That was not the one I used on this project. However, it's pretty much the same thing. Now, you might be wondering, what am I gonna do about that busted up concrete on the sidewalk? I did what any other good power washer would do. And I cleaned it and left it. Because what am I going to do? I'm a cleaner, not a concrete man. Although I've poured some concrete in my day, but I'm not going back to do it again. It was a horrible experience. And I don't wish that upon anybody. Okay, so I want to take a moment to talk about something that's asked in like almost every video where I do power washing. And they say, where do you get the water from? Well, the thing is, I hook the hose to the back of my truck and I get this magical supply of water that supplies a power washer and then i'm able to clean it up obviously i'm kidding i hook up to the house like everybody else that's in this industry and i use the water from the homeowner and then the next thing they say is well the work you do is not free then because it costs them a lot and i'm going to tell you something 
Water that comes out of your tap is not nearly as expensive as the water you get in a bottle at the gas station. <laughs> now, obviously, again, I'm playing with you. But it is significantly cheaper. Like, you pay per thousand gallons versus per ounce of water. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. Just something to keep in mind. But with that said, I posted a short on this channel cleaning some stairs at a church, which is another project that I actually did in the area that I'm doing this one. And I had this person say, and keep in mind, I didn't have permission to clean this church. It's an older church in the area. I could tell they needed help. I showed up and I cleaned it because that's what I do. If I don't have permission to do something, generally I try to get permission in that kind of case in a church. I just consider that a community donation. And I didn't think it would be an issue, especially when they're on well water and it's not going to cost them anything. So I had several comments on there that say I should be sued because, uh, you know, I'm getting rid of their dirty algae and they may have wanted to keep that and they would sue me. And I'm like, okay, well, whatever. Um, <laughs> but I had this other comment that said, so you use their utilities without permission. That is theft. And I informed him that it was well water, so obviously it wasn't an issue. Um, I said it was a church. And then I told him, don't let Satan move your fingers, buddy. Because the thing is, like, I'm an unapologetic Christian, and that's just what I am. And that's, I don't judge you for not being Christian, but however, I am. And when it comes to a church, I... And will openly work there for free and I don't charge churches and I've worked at big churches and I've worked at little churches and people say I should always charge a church and I say I never want to charge a church and that's just how I am I don't want to charge anybody ever again because of the business model that I have now where I actually go out I work for free I make the video I post it here on YouTube you guys enjoy it I get to put it out there and enjoy it and um, I get to enjoy the process and then I get compensated through the video and that's it's great it's great it's an amazing business model where it really helps everybody that's involved with it except for the people that, that hate on me and that's totally cool because that helps me because then I use their comment that's negative and I pin them to the top however this guy said after I responded to him he said spoken like a true criminal and I said whatever dude that's an odd way of looking at a community donation and then I pinned him to the top so he could get the attention he wants and deserves. So this is a, um, oh, how do we, oh, I hear my son crying in the background. He's in the other room throwing fit. Anyways, um, mom's watching him. Don't worry. This is a public announcement. If you are negative on my channel, I will use you and your negativity and, uh, and make a positive thing out of it by pinning you to the top. So if you want to be negative feel free to be negative insult me uh attack me attack what i'm doing i don't care you're probably going to get pinned to the top and the rest of my awesome awesome audience is going to set you straight so i don't have to waste my time with you and then also uh i will probably use your comment um in a video and just announce to the world how dumb you are and then i'll tell them where to go so they can tell you how dumb you are um but th that's that's the way i work now don't be afraid to make a comment if you're a supporter i love you i read as many comments as i can and i do appreciate the people that truly support but along with that there's always people that are negative and you know that just is what it is in life i'm okay with it and you should be okay with it too if you don't have enough people hating on you it means you're not making enough movement in life and you just need to put a little more pressure to move forward and progress and and make things happen you know, when I started, I had nobody hating on me because nobody knew about me. And that is what it is. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching this cleaning video. I'll see you in the next one. So I'm Kevin Hansen, and I have two channels, Lawn Care Juggernaut and The Boring Channel. Hey, I want to let you know about our newsletter. We're going to be giving behind the scenes content, tips and tricks, and different things that you might want to know about the equipment we use, 
as well as the stuff that we're doing in the video. If you'd like to join our newsletter, you can find it on our website and we've got a link in the description below the video. Hey, by the way, I want to let you know that when you join our newsletter, you're automatically entered in for giveaways that we do each month. We're going to be giving away equipment and other items that you definitely don't want to miss out on.